All right, I got a chamfer bit because this week on Popwood Playback, we are multitasking. I know this kind of irritated some folks last time I did it, but I'm multitasking. I'm reviewing this new Bosch Palm Router for the magazine. Uh, and I'm gonna share the best videos of the week while we're doing that. So uh, just to fill you in, this is the new Bosch Palm Router. It works on their 12 volt system, which are these small batteries. This is a two amp hour, goes into a, this charger. Yes. Um, and there's a couple of unique features on this that I just wanted to share with you really quick. It's got a spindle lock that comes out here that lets you change bits really, really quickly. So I'm gonna change this, this round over, this chamfer. And they say you get 23 feet of trim routing per amp hour of the battery. And so I have a two amp hour battery, so I should get about 40 feet, 46 feet of routing. Um, so our first video of the week is a thank you, actually. Uh, I wanna thank you for your support on the I Can Do That series. We released our new bench video. Uh, it's the first part in a two-part series on building the bench that I'm at right now. So you're actually getting a sneak peek of the top that is a torsion box. Um, but we talked about some of the joinery and stuff that we use uh, in the base. Uh, and so thank you for checking that out. It's had some good questions and good response good responses. I gave the responses in the comments. So yeah, you got some good responses. Anyhow, um, I also want to share that Andy Rawls is on the blog as of, well, by the time this video comes out, you'll see it. Uh, he shares his tip for how he polishes the top of the bolt that goes into the cap of his iron uh, for his Stanley number four that he's restoring. So check out his video here. Uh, and the short little tip is on the Popwood blog. All right, I'm gonna give this chamfer bit a little bit of a run, but I wanna tell you first about Steve Ramsey's video. He put out a shop stool that uses uh, some basic half lap joinery made on the table saw. And it's one of those shop stools that he'll be kicking around forever because it's super strong uh, and it's really simple and it's not going to fail. So check out his video here. And one of the things that I like about this is that you can quickly adjust by pushing this button, the whole plate down. And it's grabbing the threads on here. So then once it's down, you can dial in your depth by rolling this. And I was just going the wrong way because I'm talking and doing this at the same time. So once you get the reveal on your chamfer bit or whatever you're using, you can rock and roll. Our next video is from Dimension Woodworks. He made a set of cornhole boards uh, that have some unique flair. Cornhole boards are popular in the summer, uh, but they often all look alike. And so he took it to the next level. He did some box joints on the frame uh, beneath the plywood, and then he also did some creative staining. And so it was a good build, uh, and he's a smaller channel. So go check him out uh, and give him a subscribe if you'd like. And I'm gonna see how this works. So one of the things that is kind of unique is that it has a long back surface and then a shorter surface up here to the spindle. So you kind of get a really good view of what you're doing, but you also have all the support back here. And so let's, aside from running into my dog, which is really bad, um, gave a pretty clean, clean cut um, and it didn't really feel like it bogged down. And so I think I'm gonna try and make a bigger cut. And so what I actually just found myself doing without even realizing it is I was kind of rotating the whole base into the cut, which felt very natural. So whether you do climb cut or the other way, um, we're making a nice, pretty large chamfer here. Um, and I did not feel the motor bogged down at all. Um, and that's not a small cut for a trim router, so that's pretty cool. The next build is from Johnny Builds. Uh, he did a DIY Rockler one sheet challenge exploded pixel coffee table. 
I saw it on Reddit, uh, and it was his second crack at doing the one sheet challenge. Uh, and this one turned out really great. Uh, and so check it out. He uses a lot of small pieces of plywood and then rounds the whole thing and it just looks really cool. It's a good build. So I'm not gonna bore you with this any longer, but our next video is from Wintergarten, uh, the band. He's been working on recreating his marble machine that has 77 million views. Uh, and I, I forget if I talked about this already, uh, but he's, he made the planetary gears uh, in this episode. And it's really creative because he even, he zeroes his CNC so that he's cutting along the glue line in his plywood to give it an additional color and uh, make it look a little aged. It's just like, it's so creative. You need to check this out. Next up is Bert Caswell. He's uh, over in the UK, I think. Uh, another small channel, but he made a dowel jig with a chisel out of a block of wood. Uh, and I've actually seen it before. It's, it's one way to make a doweling jig. I've seen it for like tapered uh, dowels and that sort of thing. Uh, but it's a great build. And he also has a very nice style and aesthetic to his video. And so I found it enjoyable and it's another small channel. So give him some love. Uh, and for that, I am done. Popwood playback is over, and I'm gonna finish testing this Bosch router, uh, and I want you to know that I'm gonna give this away. So down in the description, you will find a link to the giveaway for this router. Um, it might be a week, because I need to like write my review of it and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but you'll see that there, and I'll see you next week on Popwood playback. Thanks.